Hi friends, welcome. There was a question asking how to generate a student form. So the, where the student details can be collected from different sources and a uh, PDF file can be generated on the fly. So the user can save it or uh, print the uh, student details to a printer. So now the question is how we will get all the data and how we will input to the system that which student we want to print it. So an interface is required. So for that we have used Kinter and uh, we will try to develop the script. But before we move my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we are tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let us understand the script. For easy learning, we have divided this into three parts. So part one, we will just see the how we will browse and through. Part two, how we will take the user input and part three, we will integrate it into a database. And at the end, I will show you how you will download the different parts uh, script or the full script you can download it and easily you can try in your environment. So let's first part, let's start this. So this is the two inter two parts in the inside this also there is a save file so this is a kinter window is used to uh, save as to open the save as dialog box and the input what the user tells the path and the file name that is passed to the second fu function here you can see save pdf function is there for line of code it just only it, what it does is it writes hello world and it saves it in the what the user has selected let's run this and see so you can see this, this is just the input whatever I, we have got it. Fine, here I am just clicking the save as button. So, in the moment it saves, this, this particular save file, this function opens up line number 14 to line number 18 and it shows me a path where I want to show it, save it. I can give my file name, my PDF to PDF file, save it, it will prompt me, yes, overwrite it. So, it has saved it. In the part two, the same interface and we have just added one input box. So one input so the user can enter a ID, the student ID, whatever it is. So let's just uh, run this. What you can see is we have added a label here and in, below that one input entry box. So the user can enter the student ID. Let's run this. Here it is. So here I can enter the student ID. But you can also think of instead of uh, entering a ID, you can just give a drop down list box, a combo box where the user can select a name. So you can select. So in that case, you have to pull the data name from the database table and then op give the option. So user need not have to enter the ID directly can select the name. It just whatever you can extend it. Now let me just enter a ID 5 here. Now once I enter this ID, I will just click the same save button which will open me the file save as dialog box. Let me just put it here. But this time it will be there will be a slight change. What happen if I save it? Okay, it will prompt it and I have just saving it. What it will do is it will take the ID whatever I have entered. That ID it will add along with the hello world and put it inside the database. This is just to understand how to take the user input and pass it onto the function inside where I am creating the file because this concept will use it in the next part where the our will take the detail from the database and that will push it inside the PDF file instead of the entry only the entry number. We are in our part 3 now. So this is the SQLite database what you are connected and uh, we are using it my underscore db. Note that it need not be a SQLite only. You connect it to MySQL or any other database, the same thing will happen. So you can collect the data and use it. So this is just for the sake of simplicity, we are taking SQLite database. Now here is the database. We have connected to the database, taken the student details and uh, student details will take it. And here the input, whatever we have seen in part two, the input uh, student ID we have taken. Now here it is. So here, when you take the student ID, what's this line? This line is take select star from student, the table name is student, where ID equal to E1 gate. E1 gate is the ID what the user has entered. If you have used the names of it and uh, class of it, whatever, the, accordingly you have to write the query. Say you want to uh, take the student name, so the name you have to match it here, where name equal to E1 dot get that will get the name. So matching that once you, you execute that query you will get the entire details of that particular student. Now here you may have more tables 
more details here just for the simplicity we are taken name and class so you have so you can join those tables and get all the details say his hostel id his father name his residential address some other table you may be storing it so all those queries you can you, through the query and here at this point you have to pull all the data from different sources so here all this data you will combine it now you just see we have taken two things here the name and the class where it is so this when you execute that phase one when you execute that the detail we get it in data row one data row two so it is based on how many row how many columns of data you are taking just create the one by one inside your pdf file so it, it can it is just a sample you can extend it to more columns more details of the student based on whatever the requirement but the concept remains the same now let's just run this and see how this works so let me run this what a, yeah it has opened up here it is now i am giving the id as uh, say 5 now click the save button now i will it will show me i am just my pdf2 i am saving this it will of course overwrite yes let me just go there here is my PDF 2. I will just double click this. Let us open this and see. Here you can see two things I am getting. The name I am getting and the class because these are the only two things we have taken <coughs> from the database table. Sorry. So that details we are putting it here. To download the source code, visit this URL. This is there in the description. Just come scroll down. Read the concepts also. It is written here. You can read that. This is the part one small code so where the only the path where it is uh, user input there it will be document will be saved then how the user inputs are taken is explained in the part two and in the part three the entire code is there and you can see we have used the uh, sqlite database here so that the database uh, you can use you whatever you want if you want a sample database also link is there you can just visit the sqlite section and download the sample database now here it is the entire all the three parts are there explained part by part i expect that you can easily run in your system and check it that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and this script can be developed in different environment also say in a web development you can take the input and use the php as a uh, backend script so you can interact with database and generate the details database can be anything also so the concept remains the same so I hope you have a good learning experience and if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it and please, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.